Scientists have created an artificial leaf to fight climate change by inexpensively converting harmful carbon dioxide into a useful alternative fuel. The new technology outlined in a paper published on November 4, 2019 in the General Nature Energy was inspired by the way plants use sunlight to turn carbon dioxide into food. We call it a leaf because it mimics real leaves and the process of photosynthesis, said Yemin Wu, an engineering professor at the University of Waterloo who led the research. A leaf produces glucose and oxygen. We produce methanol and oxygen. Making methanol from carbon dioxide, the primary contributor to global warming, would both reduce greenhouse gas emissions and provide a substitute for fossil fuels that create them. The key to process is a cheap optimized red powder called cuprous oxide. An hour-long chemical reaction creates the engineered red powder that is the key to new technology and to turn carbon dioxide into fuel. Engineered ha to have as many eight-sided particles as possible. The powder is created by a chemical reaction when four substances glucose, copper acetate, sodium hydroxide and sodium dodecyl sulfate are added to water that has been heated to a particular temperature. The powder then serves as a catalyst or trigger for another chemical reaction when it is mixed with water into which carbon dioxide is blown and a beam of white light is directed with a solar simulator. This is chemical reaction that we discovered said Wu, who has worked on this project since 2015. Nobody has done this before. The reaction produces oxygen as in photosynthesis, while also converting carbon dioxide into water powder solution into methanol. The methanol is collected as it evaporates when the solution is heated. Next steps in the research include increasing the methanol yield and commercializing the patented process to convert carbon dioxide collected from the major greenhouse gas sources such as power plants, vehicles and oil drilling. I'm extremely excited about the potential of this discovery to change the game, said Wu, a professor of mechanical and metachronics engineering and a member of the Waterloo Institute for the Nanotechnology. Climate change is an urgent problem and we can help reduce CO2 emissions while also creating an alternative fuel. Who collaborated on the paper facet dependent active sites of single CO2O particles photocatalyst for CO2 reduction to methanol. With Tijana Raj and other researchers at Argonne National Laboratory in Illinois, as well as scientists as California State University, Northridge and the city of University of Hong Kong. What do you think about this research guys? Share your opinions and comment down below. Like the video if you really like this research. Have a good one. Cheers. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah.